wants to be a millionaire. <laughs> I'm going to take the money. <laughs> Listen, I don't let me hold here. 26. 26. 64,000 pounds. This is a serious result. Mm. Give her a big hand. Liz Richards leads us with 64,000 pounds. What would it mean to you, truthfully, to lose 7,000 pounds? A bit mad. It's the right answer! Oh. Hey! I'm not going to sit here again, am I? No, you're not going to sit here again. Let's go for it. Final answer. The final answer. Oh, my God. You've just won double the security for your family. You've just won £32,000! I'm not going to play for this. I can't. I can't. I'm not sure. And I'd never forgive myself if I lost £7,000. I just can't afford to do that. So I'm going to take the money, if I may. Give her a big hand. Alison Grinney goes away with £8,000! Welcome to Thursday Night, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Monday show was very much ladies' night. Three girls and £104,000 won in total. But overall, there have still been far more boys than girls on the show since we started back in 1998. 278 men have sat in the hot seat compared to just 95 women. Now, that works out at 2.9 boys to every girl. And if you're wondering what 0.9 of a man looks like, just ask Keith Chegwin. But how many nights have you watched a guy here really struggling in the chair while his girlfriend sits up there mouthing, idiots, in the audience? Happens a lot. So, girls, if you want to prove who really wears the trousers in your relationship, lines are still open for our couple shows on 09068 444444, and those shows start next week. I love the last ones. We begin tonight's show with ten brand-new contestants, including two more women. So will it be another ladies' night or a gentleman's club? It's down to them. And they are... John Ramsden from East Yorkshire. Simon Steer from London. Susan Sanham from Kent. John Reynolds from Essex. Brian Foley from Greater Manchester. Steve Jeffries from Cardiff. David Reynolds from Cheshire. Barbara Reed from Flintshire. John Fitzgerald. And one more, David Reynolds from London. Right, good luck, everybody. Here we go. Ten brand-new contestants, brand-new show. Fastest finger first. Get the right order in the fastest time. You're next. This Thursday night, the play for a possible million pounds. Nice and quiet, please, in the audience. As quiet as Marcel Marceau. Here comes the first question tonight. Starting with the furthest west, put these ferry ports along the south coast in order. New Haven, Dover, Portsmouth, Folkestone. Some of those very quick on their buttons. Let's see if they were right there. This is the right order, starting west, going towards the east, then farthest west, Portsmouth, then you're going along to New Haven, then you go up around the corner to Folkestone, and then it's Dover. That's the right order. Now, ten started. How many got it right? All these got it right. Only one. Who was fastest? John Ramson. It's 7.18. So here we go. First contestant tonight is John Ramsden, an insurance underwriter from Bruff up in East Yorkshire. Now, wife Amanda's up in the audience, uh, hoping for a big winner. She's just been made redundant and rather fancies never having to go job hunting again. Um, John's used to go in the distance under stressful conditions. He's run the London Marathon three times. His best time was very good. Three hours, 25 minutes. Unfortunately, at the finish, uh, he was overtaken by a fairy and had to do a sprint finish with a gorilla. <laughs> That happens on those things, doesn't it? It does, yeah. All these strange characters running around <laughs> with huge, big, heavy things on their backs as well. Yeah, and they're all faster than me. I yeah. don't know why. My wife was narrowly beaten by an opal fruit, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 
What's the um, what's the great buzz for you about doing the marathon? It must be. I mean, that that start must be one of the great adrenaline rushes of all time. I think. It's oh, uh, yeah, it's just amazing. There, the amount of people they can't move when it first when the yeah. gun first goes off. There's just so many people. But yeah. yeah. What's the worst thing about running a marathon like that? A big one. The last 200 meters. <laughs> really. Yeah, because you can see the, the finish line and you think, oh, I'll go for a sprint finish. Yeah. But uh, your legs don't want to do it. <laughs> That's when you're overtaken by the fairies and the gorillas. That's right, yeah. <laughs> OK, well, lots of love to... Uh, lots of love. Lots of love from me. <laughs> lots of love to me. Uh, you know how it works by now. 15 questions, £1 million, pounds, three brand new lifelines. John's got his 50-50, he's got phone a friend, and he can ask this brand new shiny Thursday night audience. OK, John, lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? So, John, 15 questions. This is the first one for £100. Have a look, take your time, tell me the answer. The abbreviation USA stands for United What? States of America, Sands of Algeria, Sheep of Australia, Sausages of Austria. That'll be States of America, Chris. That'll be States of America. You've got £100. <laughs> Have a look. Which of these was a nautical TV drama series of the 70s? The Oneidin Line, What's My Line, The Plimsoll Line, The Bottom Line. Um, the Oneidin Line. It's the right answer, you've got £200. <laughs> OK, question number three for 300 quid. John, just be aware of those lifelines, they're there if you need them. Question number three, you're 13 away from a million, this is for 300 quid. Complete the saying, you can't have your cake and... Eat it. Ice it. Bake it. Burn it. It's the first one again, Chris. Eat this it. This right answer, you got 300 quid. <laughs> okay, question number four for 500 pounds, here it comes. Who starred with Meg Ryan in the 1989 film When Harry Met Sally? Billy Crystal, Robin Williams, Eddie Murphy, Woody Allen. Remember the film? Uh, yes, I've seen it. It's the first one, yet again. Billy Crystal? Billy Crystal. That's your right answer, you've got £500. There's always one particular scene in that film that everybody remembers. Uh, you got five hundred quid. The last point, John, at which he could go home with nothing. I'm sure it won't happen. You got all three lifelines still intact. This is for one thousand pounds. Question number five: Which of these is a type of cushion used as a low seat? Tomato bag, pea bag, parsnip bag, bean bag. It's bean bag. Chris. You were for a second there, weren't you? <laughs> it's right, out, so You got a thousand pounds. Good luck, John. Guaranteed a thousand. Whatever happens. You once came second in a piano competition, and there are only two of you in it. That's true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who was that then? Who, well, who won? A friend of mine called Jonathan. <laughs> what did you get for coming second? Uh, just a certificate saying that I got second place. <laughs> <laughs> didn't mention he, he didn't say there were two people in it, so... Ah, well, that's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Have a look at question number six. It's worth £2,000. You're ten away from a million. Here it is. In which country is the town of Luxor? Why are you nodding at me? it's Egypt. Because it's Egypt. If <laughs> Egypt doesn't come up there, panic, OK? Turkey. Egypt. Israel. Lebanon. You can go orange on Egypt. Final answer? Yeah. Go orange, eh? Technical talk, John. Wait, <laughs> it's the right answer. You've got 2,000 pounds. Beautiful place on the Nile where a lot of people go uh, to get away from the English cold weather in the winter. You got £2,000, you've still got those lifelines. Question number seven is for 4000 no problem at all so far, you've got three lifelines, here it is. Betty Boothroyd was the first woman to hold which, you're doing that little nod again, the first woman to hold which post? What do you want to see this time? Um, speak of the House of Commons. Okay, see what happens. Poet Laureate, Speaker, Prime Minister, Astronomer Royal. Speaker, Chris. Final answer? Final answer. It's the right answer, you got 4,000. <laughs> um, you got 4,000 pounds. OK, 
Okay, question number eight is for 8,000. You got 50 50, phone a friend, ask the audience, still intact. Have a look, you would lose 3,000 here if you gave me a wrong answer. You got 1,000 guarantee. This is for 8,000 pounds. Here it comes. Caribou is another name for which animal? Walrus, hippopotamus, reindeer, fox. It's reindeer, Chris. Final answer. <laughs> I've not <asked> yet. <laughs> Is that your final answer, John? It is, Chris. It's the right answer. You've got £8,000. <laughs> Thank Well, I'll tell you what, John, you're going off at uh, quite a pace. You've got £8,000. Next question is for £16,000. He's still got all three lifelines intact. We'll take a break. Join us again for the second part of tonight's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire in a couple of minutes. Don't go away. Welcome back to the second part of tonight's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Now, don't forget, if you'd like to be here like John, playing for one million pounds, and at this moment he's only seven questions away. Check if you're eligible by seeing a summary of the rules on Teletext on ITV. Uh, you can see the full set on the ITV website, or of course you can send a self-addressed envelope to our usual address. But remember, the lines are still open for more millionaire couples. That starts seriously on air next week. So if you've been together for around about a year or so, not just someone you met on the bus on the way to the studio, give us a call. You know the number, 09068 444444. Right, John, £8,000 to you and Amanda. You got no kids? No, no. A lot of money? Handy? Very handy? Would be handy, yeah. Very handy? Very handy. What would be very, very handy? Truthfully. 32 or more, I think. Yeah? Serious money. Okay. Yeah. Let's try and get you there. You've got um, you're just two away from that, and you've got yeah. three lifelines left. Hopefully, to help you through, you can play all three lifelines, obviously, and still walk away with eight. But this is for sixteen thousand. It's question number nine of a possible fifteen. Here it is. In two thousand, which former newsreader was appointed chairman of the English National Ballet? Jan Leeming, Sue Lawley, Angela Rippon, Pamela Armstrong. Ring a bell at all? Mm, I've got a, an idea. <laughs> what are you thinking? Mm. I'm thinking uh, Angela Rippon. Up to you. I guess she was on uh, an old episode of Mark Markham and Wise, I think. And she did a little bit of dancing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave John the one remaining wrong answer and the right answer. She's still there, isn't she? She's still there. Uh, with Sue Lawley. I think I'll have to go for Angela Rippon. Final answer. Final answer. You ever seen Sue Lawley dance? No. Nor has anybody else. It's the right answer. You've got £16,000. You've got sixteen thousand pounds. You've got phone a friend left, and you've hung on to ask the audience as well, which is cool. Um, you lose fifteen thousand here if you did go for it and give me a wrong answer. But this is the one you wanted. This is for thirty-two thousand pounds. Right. Question number ten of a possible fifteen. This is it. Billy Bones is a character in which of these books? Robinson Crusoe. Treasure Island, Moonfleet, Kidnapped. Well, I've not, I've not read any of them, so. <laughs> um, I'm struggling a bit. You got an RC audience. Uh, you got to phone a friend. You lose fifteen thousand here if you do go for it. Give me a long answer. I think I'll. Phone a friend, Chris. Up to you, who do you want to phone? Um, I think I'll phone Philip. Philip? Okay. Where's he? Up in Yorkshire? Uh, no, he's down south somewhere. <laughs> okay. Hello? Philip? 
Yeah? Hi, that's Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Hi, Chris. Hello. Hi. I've got John here. He's doing rather well. He's on £16,000. Excellent. Excellent. With your help, we can make it double excellent and get him up to 32000 <laughs> Good. All right, Phil. Okay. Next voice here will be John. He'll tell you a question. There are still four possible answers. One of those is the right answer. It's worth 32000 Thanks. Okay. All right. Good luck, Phil. John, your time starts now. Billy Bones is a character in which one of these books? Robinson Crusoe, Treasure Island, Moonfleet, or Kidnapped? Treasure Island. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Thanks, Phil. OK. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Yes. Well, if he's right, what a very, very, very nice man he turned out to be. Um, <laughs> if he's wrong, what a pillock. <laughs> It's your call. He sounded very confident. It's up yeah, to you. I trust him 100%. Final answer. Final answer. I tell you what, that is exactly the sort of phone a friend you want. You just won £32,000, John. Well done. Exactly the sort of phone a friend you need. Thanks to Phil being so positive and so correct as well. You've now got the cheque. You said you wanted more than anything 30 to... You can take it, you want? Yeah, I'll take it. It's yours. <laughs> take it. 30 to... You haven't got a pocket, but... Uh, I have. Yes, you have. I have. Oh, it's a little blue pocket. It's a little one. Okay. Take it. Don't crumple it. £32,000, John, whatever happens, uh, crumple it. If you want, actually, it's your cheque. You go home with that at least tonight. But have a look at question number 11. Take as long as you need. It's worth £64,000 to you. You've got to ask the audience. Here it is. A noisette chocolate is made or flavoured with which type of nut? Brazil nut, walnut, almond, hazelnut. I can tell by Amanda's face she knows. I can tell by your face you don't. <laughs> you got 32,000. What do you think? Got a clue? Um, I've got a clue. But I'm not going to say what that is. Because I'm going to ask the audience. OK. Right, audience, on your keypads, please. Let's see what happens. This is for £64,000 to John. He's guaranteed 32000 This would double his money. A, B, C or D for £64,000. All vote now. Uh, 69% say hazelnut. It's quite high. Um, which, one's, uh, which one of that percentage includes Amanda? She seemed very positive about that. It's up to you. You said you thought you knew. You didn't think this one at all, no, did you? No, I thought, I thought of Almond, I don't know why. I no listen, idea. you still might be right. 70% say Almond. No, I've got to go with the audience. You haven't got to. It's a, it's a type of question that people know the answer to, I think, so... I'll go, for, I'll go with the audience, D. Final answer. Final answer. You're going with Hazelnut with this audience? Yeah. This audience have just won you sixty-four thousand pounds. I'll put it there. You got that. You got that. But thanks to this fine body of men and women at the moment, you've got a much larger check for sixty-four thousand. Serious money. And you doubted this audience for a second. <laughs> I have to say, frankly, when I came in, so did I. You got sixty-four thousand pounds. We don't want to give you that. Have a look at question number 12. Tell me if you like the look of it. It's for £125,000. You're guaranteed 32. You can walk with 64. This is question number 12 of the possible 15. Which British monarch was the first to give a Christmas Day broadcast to the nation? Victoria. George V. Edward VIII. Elizabeth II. for £125,000. I don't think it's Victoria. And it would have been before Elizabeth. It doesn't say TV broadcast, so it could be... Oh, it just a, says first to give a... So it could be a radio broadcast. Just says broadcast. So it's either George or Edward. Edward VIII um, abdicated, so I don't think it was up to a Christmas Day broadcast.
sorry it was before any time for broadcast. So that me leaves George, the fifth. <laughs> it's for £125,000. I don't think Edward VIII could have given a Christmas Day broadcast. I know that George V did give a Christmas Day broadcast. <coughs> I'm going to go for it. George V. You know you drop £32,000 if you're wrong. Yeah, I do. Final answer. Final answer. We'll take a break. Join us again in the Calvin Bliss for the third part of tonight. Who wants to be a millionaire? Do not go away. Welcome back to the third part of which has been yet another nail-biting Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Just for the break, John Ramson got up to £64,000. He was then given this question, which British monarch was the first to give a Christmas Day broadcast to the nation? By all sorts of quite complex logic, John got it down, he thought, to George V. He could have kept £64,000 and walked away. He decided to play. Final answer was George V. You had £64,000, you guaranteed £32,000. John, you've still got £32,000. You've got another £93,000 to go with it! <laughs> you have won! One hundred and twenty-five thousand! So mad, John! Your face! You all take things of anything away. One hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds! Oh, John, your face was a picture. <laughs> Brilliant. I was sure I was wrong. John. Yeah. Have a look at that. Have a look. It's very, you deserve that. I tell you what, you really worked your way into that one. <laughs> it was the longest commercial break of your life. £125,000. But we don't want to give you that. You've got £125,000. Have a look, though, question number 13. You might get the taste for this. You are only three away from one million. You've got no lifelines left, but... Question number 13 of a possible 15 is worth £250,000. Here it is, question number 13 of a possible 15. Which actor is the father of Vanessa Paradis' daughter, Lily Rose? Keanu Reeves, Johnny Depp, Brad Pitt, David Arquette. got no idea whatsoever. <laughs> you sound almost relieved not to have a clue, yeah, actually. Yeah, I am. <laughs> no, maybe it's, maybe it's David Arquette, but no idea. So, I'll take the money and run, please. You were, <laughs> you were dying to get out of the studio. <laughs> okay, give him a big hand. John Ramson goes away. A great contestant with that check, with our lab for £125,000. Take it, John. I can tell you, actually, if you had said David Arquette, you would have just dropped £93,000. The right answer is actually Johnny Depp. Give him a big hand. He goes away. Well played, Max. It's a great, real pleasure. Well played. With £125,000. Really popular winner, John Ramsey, went to hell and back there, but still leaves with a huge check and a very well-deserved £125,000. Now we've got 